Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. It is your Black Knight. And I thought, what what can I do for a Valentine's Day special? I mean, you know... It's not really, you know, the popular thing to focus on, you know, Valentine as Bishop and Martyr. So let's, let's look at the romance kind of thing to it. Oh, why are we getting shot at now? This, this place is heavily armed enough. I should have taken care of that. But what I thought I'd do is I thought I would take this episode from the point of my Soul Survivor's current romances. Curie being one of them. And I think she's a particularly interesting romance because she's a robot, basically. I mean, she's a synth. A synthetic person. I mean, she, is she, you know... I mean, she's not even an original synth as far as her personality is concerned. She's a robot that was transferred to a sim. I mean, a very, a very advanced robot, but is she, is she a simulation of sentience? Is she actually sentient? If you have something, if, if, if humans create something that is technically speaking sentient, does God imbue a soul because this being has sentience? Or is that just the ultimate sin of mankind, that they could create something that could have feelings and memories and true understanding of self, and then give it a finite lifespan? Anyway, Curie is one of the most fun people to hang around with. She's extremely innocent. Um, she says very little that's aggravating or annoying. She's really, you know, she's, she's fun, and you know... And let's face it, she's hot, especially in that outfit there, what we got from Nuka World. In some sense, it's almost like, you know, there, there is that that complicated relationship. I mean, it's not like you can create life with Curie. She's kind of a toy. Are you just using her? But you're making her life better. It makes her happier to be around you and to be to feel your affection. So, you know, I, I like Curie. I like the fact that, you know, I had to romance Curie. It's just a thing that you do. Now, for each of my romances in game. Well, I'll say for each, for most. And there's one at the end we're going to talk about more here. I have created something for them. and in, I, I've dedicated at least part of a settlement for each of them. And Curry got a pretty, pretty sizable piece of it. And this is just a standard part of the settlement. There you go. All, all the, uh, it's done largely in concrete. We've got a lot of beds going here. Um, my, as far as my pathway up the ladders, that was really not well done. There's really a lot of work to do here. I have work to... I can make this a lot better. We can do stuff with this element still. Maybe, maybe some more stuff. I did have a lot of trouble getting some things to line up. And so it's a bit, it's a bit lumpy. This still might be, though, bigger than the slog. I mean, you know. Ah, but here we have it. Curie's lab. Curie... Is curious. I mean, that's you know. I realize that's not where they got it from. They got it from Madame Curie. But I built her this really. I mean, I tell you what. As far as spaces in game are concerned, this might be one of my best. It's got every single tool you would need to do anything. As far as player housing is concerned, it's really great if you really just want to stay here. I have piles of weapons. Now it's an interesting thing. This I, I built all of this before. Um, you know, some of the later DLCs where you actually have, you know, weapons racks and armor racks and stuff like that. So you have this scattered stuff on the ground. It took forever just to place all this stuff. The microscopes, the Brahmin skulls. This was agony. Putting this all together with the, the, the clumsy. As a, she does smoke. Which is an interesting thing. She's, you know... Acid, asbestos. I, I tried to give her a Michler carapace. I mean, I tried to give her everything she could ha need here just to be scientific. I want to make this her happy place. Campground banner. We threw that down there. Some folders. A whole bunch of, of you know, different holotapes. A place to type up her, her, her research. I don't even remember what a lot of these are. Robot, a workbench, schematics. I 
I always like to keep some toy cars and things around. Because in theory, I like to see we can sleep with some teddy bears. We can get her a better bed now. That's good. that might be a thing. We can have a bed with covers. We can we can fix that up. Again, that didn't exist before you know some of the the later DLCs came out. It was definitely waiting on some of that stuff. But this is it. This is Curie's lab. Spent a lot of effort for this woman. But she's just fun. Hey. What do you want? I was just thinking of you. Your thoughts? I have so much data on the world before the atom bombs. I fear I may have to delete some of it to store my new observations. Are things okay between you and me? We are better than ever. I never knew life could be such bliss. Never mind. Nothing else I needed. As you say. I wish it was, you could say better than nothing else. That's a bricks. Ah. Let's get some rest. Because there's going to be more to do soon. And of course, is this really just a nap? They leave it. So vague. Good morning, my love. <laughs> Just pillows everywhere. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, my love. Okay, let's go find another lover. Now, I, I haven't left her here at this site. Because, first of all, it seemed lonely to me. Because, you know, and I, I eventually started putting all of my companions at the slog so that we could... You know, we could get to them a little more easily. I can find them a little more easily. So cute. She's just a cutie pie. And that brings us to Kate. Where is she? Hello. Okay. There you are. Okay, we gotta zip off and defend the Dalton farm. Are you down with that for the short term before I do our little... Talk on. Oh, we have to go all the way back up to Far Harbor for that. This is gonna be a walk. I guess it's fitting that we have some violence going on because. Sure, he is a violent guy. What are we killing? Why is it not dead yet? Heavens, murder him. Super mutant. The trees must be protecting him somewhat. Is it healing? Forever. Why bother? That's just garbage. I toss it. She's she's got a harsh nature to her. Based largely on the fact that her life has sucked. I mean really, she's got one of the roughest stories in the game. And I won't do too many uh too many reveals on that. I've given her the entire grog neck outfit. She's got the axe, she's got the the Grogna outfit that gives you the, the pluses to strength and endurance. So it's, you know, there, there's more there than meets the eye. She's got some heavy dudes, some really good armor on her. That hat is ballistic weave, so... She's, she's got a ton. Don't, don't mistake, you know, the, the classic video game trope of bikinis make you safer because women are only uh, vulnerable in their boobs. No, that's not a... That's not, this is, this, this, she's got this outfit for a particular reason. It matches her style. That really aggressive... Everything she does is aggressive. You know? And... I mean, let's, 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 she, she was sold into slavery. We'll do some, some spoilers. Spoiler alert, skip ahead if you don't want to. She was sold into slavery by her parents. 
escaped from slavery, murdered her parents, spend the rest of her the, the, the rest of her time until she meets me on drugs and to, to forget the pain of all that and beating the crap out of people in the combat zone. You'd think she'd have more scars, honestly. Well, all her scars are emotional. But, you know, once you go through the quest to, to get her off of the drugs and uh, the addictions, I don't know why Addictal doesn't work, but you have to take her to that vault. Then, you know, she turns, turns a, a leaf around on some things, but she's still got a very, a very harsh personality as far as a lot of things are concerned. In some ways, a very affectionate personality in other cases. Not even talking to me now. All right, let's 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 head back to uh, where I was going to be. Here we are. Spectacle Island. I built Spectacle Island just for her. I figured she came from the combat zone. Need to get back to Diamond City one of these days. It's not far. town I ever saw. I put up a you place where people could... Run by ghouls? We could watch all kinds of them. animals fight each other and stuff. I haven't run this you in a while. Know. People have been complaining a bit about the bed situation. You got lots the of beds. Been growing pretty good lately. Looking to trade? No, believe it or not, I'm not looking to trade just yet. It's been a long time since I've set up any monsters in here, and I, I'm, you know, I'm not sure if it even works. Cause I think there was an issue where you might spawn stuff, and then all the cannons take them apart. But I thought this would be something that she'd appreciate. You know. A place where theoretically could have Curry fight the beast if she really wanted to fight. Now this is just a little area that I've set up. Liquors, you know, is there stuff in there? I think so. No, no. I get... Again, some kind of stuff here. Handcuffs. I remember that was just a funny thing. Furious Power Fist, Furious Switchblade, Furious things seem to to fit her. Poor thing still has a lot of rage, which is one reason you want her on your side. You want to break up with Kiri. I don't know if that's a good idea. I built this, like, actually my original plan was I was just going to leave her here, let her enjoy Spectacle Island, but then when you want to travel with her, it's almost impossible to find her. It's really annoying, because the place is so big. But she is fun. You gotta say she's fun. Again, fun and cute. It's a good one to travel with. Now, on to my next lover. Oh, wait, before we do that. It is Valentine's Day. All this rest is making me tired. <laughs> you see what they did there? All right. Yeah, I don't know if all my, my gun emplacements... Did I take all the guns off of there so it wouldn't... Maybe we'll, somewhere along the line we'll do another another animal fight here in the... In the arena. Kate's People arena. Having to sleep in shifts. It's making everyone a bit cranky. How the heck is that even possible? People are going on about the beds. There are 46 beds and 34 people. No one should be having to sleep in shifts. No, I don't want to do that either. This game glitches periodically, as far as that's concerned. That brings us to Piper. These folks are just looking for a hand. All we gotta do is offer. I know she's taking up smoking. Hey, Piper. Heading my way? Sure, let's go. Will do. You two have fun together, Piper. Too bad we can't make it a threesome. Never gonna happen, Kate. <laughs> now I guess send Kate back to the slob. <laughs> There's this, the sexual dynamics in this game are very interesting. Why is it that people are, you know, so open to every different kind of relationship? And, like, Piper should be kind of upset that I'm having a relationship with Kate here. I mean, you know. I know if, if I told my wife, look, you know, I've got a thing on the side with kind of a psychopathic girl, but she's had a rough time with things, and a robot. Um, not gonna, you know, Donna's not gonna take that well. Nice huh? piece you got there. Keep it holstered. Really? Really? You want that? Don't tell me what they're doing with my guns. 
Now I'm gonna keep. I, I used to have Piper at this log, but I finally got the mod that let her go back to public occurrences. Cause you know, new yeah. issue of public occurrences. I wish I could have been there when you kicked Mayor McDonough's butt. Hey, Moving forward, Eddie. Well, that must be the new paper. Woo woo woo. Let's show you Piper's digs. That's one way. First of all, let's talk about Piper's aesthetic. You'll notice, I don't have, you know, Piper or anything super tight or anything super revealing or anything like that. New issue of the public. I have her as heavily armored as possible. She's got ballistic weave garments here, ballistic weave hat. I think she's ballistic weave hat. Maybe, maybe that's just her hat. I don't know. If she, if that's not a ballistic weave hat, then it's. Uh, let's see. Can we can we ask her a trade? We'll find out. Ain't let's got look at. Nothing it. better to do. Piper. Why aren't you, Piper? The latest hairstyle. Hey. Shoot. Okay, armored. Yes, it is an armored newsboy cat. I, I did armor her leather, uh, red leather trench coat, but then you can't have the dense nanofilament uh, synth chest piece. Sharp. She's got a sharp, a sharp piece. Do I have a sharp synth leg? Wait a minute. All this time I've been trying to get all these sharp. No, I've got a cunning. Oh, we got a trade, babe. You can use the cunning polymer. Okay, which is not too much of a, you know, as far as defense is concerned, 17. Where'd it go now? Oh, here it is. 12 and 15, technically I just increased her defense, so that's fine. Reporter's camera, you know, a bunch of weapons, a gold watch. I forget I gave her the gold watch. Wedding ring. Now that's kind of a key thing here. Piper is my main girl in this game, all right? But she, all this time, Piper's carrying... I've been looking for sharp armor the whole time. She's wearing sharp. i got to check out what, I, what do I have on people here. Because sharp increases your your uh, charisma, and that allows you to have larger settlements. This is a big, big, big deal. Oh, Piper, you're always taking care of me. So she's got armored, armored... All kinds of stuff here. Read the paper, mister. I have her set up to be as absolutely protected as possible. Because there's something there's something earnest and I don't want to say pure because this is a murderous woman. She's killed a lot of people. There are people that needed killing. But there is there is an innocence that is mixed with savvy. Read the public. Is the institute gone? She's really just there, there's something extra special. I, I feel like if I was in this game. I probably wouldn't maintain three relationships, I'll be perfectly honest. I'm not geared for that. I think you need to, fo in a relationship, you have to focus on one person. And I'll, I'll be honest, at this point in the game, I wouldn't be traversing around doing all kinds of different missions. I'd just be working downtown, letting her do the, we'd work the paper together. You know, that would be kind of how things go. And I've got her sit back up at public occurrences so she could be closer to her sister. Just as I've got Nick downtown. So Nick is back here someplace too. Read about the man wakes up after 200 years. That's me. But again, she's still, even just wearing basically what looks like armor built from pieces of toilet, she's still cute. She's just as cute as any of them. Let me show you what I built for her. Where is this, the schlag? I've actually built this up twice for her. Once when I had poorer tools, and then when I really decided to build up the slug. That gave birth to Piper's Library. And here we have it. Right below, I fell down. Not the best layout here as far as this is concerned. I was doing my best. Right below the Tarberry Terrace, which is above here, you have Piper's Library. A place where she can, you know, create stories. 
Is it display please? Is that the cryolator? I think it is. Recoil cut. There's my cryolator if you ever wanted to you know where I was keeping that. Again, I built this up. All my energy, all my bobbleheads. You'll notice we have all of this armor, which could be on armor racks now, but I didn't have armor racks at the time this went on. And I'm gonna be honest, there's, there's a, a severe temptation. We'll check that out. There's um Cybernetic Limb Actuator and Box of San Francisco Sunlights. That's that's the the pieces from Kellogg. Brotherhood of Steel hollow tags. Places to work. How did that end up on the floor? Why did all this end up on the floor? Those are up here, not down there. Uh, this game. All kinds of stories, all kinds of notes. Recon marine chess pieces, and recon this, and pumpkins. And a very nice... Oh, look, I did have some. Eventually we got some in. I added some things in here. I did get some weapon racks. Those were added later on. Toys for, you know, for Sean. If Sean was up here, you have a bed for Sean, a bed. This is a little bit newer, this area. You can tell this is really was kind of where my own personal digs were here as far as for, for a long while. This is where we hang out. Private bathroom. But Piper is, you know, the one whose personality I am most attracted to. I mean, she's a little crazy too. No question about it. everybody in this game is a little crazy. Everybody in this life's a little bit crazy. But of all the the, the the romantic intertanglements that we have here, she's the one I actually, as far as a game character, the game character kind of thing, she's the one I have the most affection for. That's why she's the most, that's why she's armored like a tank. And we're in the wedding ring. Speaking of which, we're not done here. Let's, let's go to the honorable mention. And here we have Magnolia. Who, of course, you know... You, Used me and abused me. One night stand. While Piper was watching. Well, one of the most dastardly things I've ever done in this game, really. I need to take care of something. Real quick. Hi there. Piper Wright. Public appearances. Do you I see you looking around the corner? Easy, but yeah. How can you have a Valentine's Day with a little bit of Linda Carter? Well, thank you for your time. And pull up a chair. To feel like a stranger. Somehow Linda Carter. Cause we're all a little strange in here. Imbues a sexiness to a, the same body style. Have you got a history that needs erasing? That voice. Did you come in just for the beer and cigarettes? A broken down. And again, another simp. So, we're glad you drop by. so you know, again, loosen up your tie, have a drink for, or maybe just one more. But if you're searching for something. Yeah, in my own head, Cannon. Try Hotel Rexford. As far as I'm concerned, God gives sense souls in this game. Hey, it's a story. I can imagine whatever I want. Don't know if that's how it would work in real life. But this ain't real life. It's a video game. And speaking of souls... See, there's a reason I haven't romanced any of the other characters. There's other characters that you can romance.
But when I created my character... Let's up there, pipes. I based my character, my Nate and Nora, renamed, redone. I think she's still called. I don't think you can, I think you can only rename her. I was trying to think what would be the what would be the characters that I would like. What style of characters would I like in this game? And I thought the perfect the perfect couple for a post-apocalyptic world. Before I realized that this is you know ends badly for one of them was David Addison and Maddie Hayes from Moonlighting. Is this is this the right one? I don't think that's mine. I think it's here. Yeah, there's mine. And there she is. What is... Is that who I think it is? Are you okay? No, no, I haven't been okay for years, but thank you. This character, the Soul Survivor's true love. Again, as close to Sizzle Shepherd as I could do back in the day. Because my character didn't end up looking very much like, you know, Mr. David Addison himself anyway. Bruce Wells is a little bit hard to pull off it in any kind of editor. He's just him. Beautiful, isn't she? Even though she's a popsicle. I think that that kind of, that, first of all, there's a couple things here. The fact that I chose those two kind of took away the, you know, the believability that, you know, you'd have a, a pansexual character. I mean, you know, a bisexual character here. Well, pansexual, truly, really, there's robots involved. I guess he's still kind of, but still. At any rate, it's, uh, you know, I didn't feel like that fit with the character. And it's not even a matter of, well, gee, well, what would you do if, if you're putting yourself in the situation? If I was truly in this situation, I don't know. I don't know that I could even have that relationship. I have any of the relationships. I'd be just, I wouldn't be roaming the, the Commonwealth. I'd be stuck with the robot kid just staying in the castle and I think I'm Preston Garvey. I don't know. You can't, I don't have the grace to imagine what I would be like in this situation. I don't ever want to thankful that my life is not this life. But I guess there is something to be said for moving on after tragedy. It's not something I can imagine right now in my own life because I don't have the grace to do that. But people do. They do have the grace. They do get the grace to do that. I don't know. But then what, what would you do? Would you have it be such that once you close the door on, on, on the past that you could focus on the future? I, mean, I imagine I would focus on one future. And that would be Piper. The others, I mean, obviously, Kate, Kate's dangerous. Kate's going to kill you in your sleep at some point just because you've annoyed her. Curie, does Curie count as a relationship? I don't know. It's, you know, I've talked before. It's an interesting thing. Why is it that I didn't even hit a button? Reach up top. Why is it that every character in this game is like so open to any relationship and, and polygamous relationships? Is the world so broken that it's, it's so desperate need for... There's, there's such a desperate need for affection... In that case, is that kind of why we have the situation we have societally right now? Is the world so broken that everyone's just looking for affection? Well, that gives a heavier and more meaningful plot to St. Valentine's Day, doesn't it? Be nice to people out there. You don't know what they're going through. 
That's one of the nice things that this game teaches you, is you don't know what people are going through. Everybody's got something to carry. Oh, we never did put that leg on. Let's do that. Inventory. Apparel. There we go. And what's our stats go to now? Charisma is now 16. And with another point in alcohol, I think we could probably get a few more people into some different places. That should kick everything up at least one. This is this is how it all started out. Just a place for what I thought was going to be the, the kid when you rescue it. You know, a little rough existence. You know, when I first built this, I thought, hey, you know, for a post-apocalyptic nightmare, this is a pretty good deal. But, you know, we've come so far along since then. Just, this doesn't strike me as a good place to make out right now. Notwithstanding the disco ball, even. Yes, this is a much better place to make out. Although, you know, it's... I don't know, we need, to, we need more sleep than that. We definitely need more... I guess, you know, that's part of the trick. I mean, is it, is it, it's, are we really being kind of casual here with these women? Is it right? Shouldn't there be, you know, more dedication? A more of a sense of the sacredness of the act of procreation. The act where you might bring life into the world. I mean, really, did you ever think about that? And that's pretty mystical. I mean, you know, calling life down onto this planet. Can't believe we slept this late. And you, you went right back to the position you were behind me. All right, so maybe there's not that much going on. Hey. Point the way. Piper. You know what? You could use a pick me up. Your thoughts? Let me know if there's anything I can do to lighten the load, or, you know. If you need anything proofread. I just wanted to check in, make sure things were all right between us. Honestly, I feel a bit guilty. Why should I get so lucky when so many folks have it so hard? But other than that, I'm great. Get the same thing. I just wanted to check in, make sure things were all right between us. Someone sounds a little nervous. <laughs> well, you've got nothing to worry about. This is the happiest I've been in a long time. I'm out here with you. What else could I need? Aww. Ah, def help defend Hangman's Alley. There's always something going on, you know? There aren't a lot of people in Hangman's Alley right now. I guess they're gonna need a hand. Gone. Oh, it was a race to get inside before the rockets go off. Where is everything? Where is the okay. Gunners. So what do you think, gang? Comment in the description here. What are your thoughts on post-apocalyptic love relationships? Do you think we'd be looking at more people doing this? This kind of open relationship kind of thing where... It's okay, I understand, you know, we could all be dead tomorrow, keep your options open. Or you think people will be more clingy? You know, you think they'd, 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 they'd hold more tightly to their relationships? You think they'd, they'd actually have more value? Or would be, I mean, I guess it, it varies on the person. I don't know, I'm just glad, I'm glad I'm not living in a post-apocalyptic kind of world. Duelist simple right away. Oh, well, there you go. It's... That was an interesting chess piece. It was like kind of, it was the red, white, and blue as opposed to the classic. I don't remember blue. the last time I had clean fingers. Yeah, Hangman's Alley is a strange place to wrap up a romantic date here, but uh, and actually, let's. I got a better idea. For Valentine's Day, why not come to Diamond City? Yes. Diamond City, the place where, well, it's really about baseball. And that really has nothing to do with romance. But diamonds, they're a girl be girl's best friend, right? That's a, diamonds are a girl's best friend. Oh, yeah, yeah. All Faith Chapel. Is there any way you can just actually ask to get married? Is that a thing? There's another marriage. Let's, let's look into this. 
Marriage. You did good getting rid of McDonough. People are gonna have to learn to trust again. But those wounds will heal. Hey, Clements. Been a while since we had a wedding. Man and a robot. Strange. But I don't think God will mind. Interesting. We're the silent vigil types around here. Don't do too many sermons. Okay, so not too many sermons. People be praying. But apparently you can't get married. Okay, well then. If he doesn't think God will mind. God would be looking at this going, well, you know. I guess you're all doing your best, right? What are your thoughts, guys? What do you think your relationships would be like in post-apocalyptia? How does that relate to what they are now? I don't know. What kind of conversation we get going in the comments? On that note, ladies and gentlemen, I hope that you found this light and fun and thought-provoking, perhaps. But on this note, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night. If you have the relationship, if you have what the what happened there? She just winked right out on me. Ah, oh, there you go. She must have fallen through the cracks someplace. Which is, of course, not something that you should ever let your your significant other do is fall through the cracks someplace. That's the thing. Hey. Point the way.